Yeah, hidey ho. Tonga volcanic eruption touched the mesosphere. When a volcano exploded out of the Pacific Ocean near Tonga on January 15th, scientists immediately realized they were witnessing something special. Little did they know how special. A new analysis of images from Earth orbiting satellites shows that the plume punched a hole in our atmosphere all the way up to the mesosphere. The intensity of this event far exceeds that of any storm cloud I have ever studied, says Christopher Betka, an atmospheric scientist at NASA Langley who specializes on studying extreme storms. Betka and colleagues combined images from two satellites, NOAA's and GO-17 and Japan's Himavari 8, both of which observed the eruption using similar infrared cameras from different points in geosynchronous orbit. Using the simple math of stereo geometry, the team calculated that the plume rose to 58 kilometers, 36 miles at its highest point. Stereoscopic observations of the eruption by GO-17 shown above and Himavari 8 along with heights determined by from the lengths of shadows allow scientists to model the attitude of the entire plume. For comparison, the largest known volcanic plume in the satellite era before Tonga came from Mount Pinatubo, which spewed ash and aerosols up to 35 kilometers into the air above Philippines in 91. The Tonga plume was 1.5 times the height of Pinatubo. The extreme height of the Tonga plume means it could affect space weather phenomena such as sprites, airglow and noctilucent clouds, which also occur in the mesosphere. Tonga was truly out of this world. Yeah, and remember scalability. I guess that Tonga eruption is still scalable upwards. But that's just my opinion. We have here this video, which was attached to the article. And there was this La Palma eruption, maybe some people remember, I made this one video in which I claim that this kind of ash cloud, if there is like ash cloud or like stuff emitting from a volcano and it's somehow on a continuous scale, it works like an antenna for the volcano because the energy will flow along this cloud back into the volcano. Everything is a circuit. Everything is connected. On many different levels. In all directions. All the time. This is how things work. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that was quite impressive. Let's watch it again. Huh. Take it out. But I, one thing I wonder all the time still is that probably it's just too hard to measure figure out or 
whatever makes science this the shock wave or the wave of energy from the Tonga eruption in our crust mantle in earth inside because now there's like all the time talk about what happened in the atmosphere but somehow not that much about how to say underneath in the mantle where it came from the explosive energy that somehow or did it do anything to Earth's spin? I didn't hear anything about that. Neither maybe didn't. That's why I didn't hear anything. Did it already affect the weather on the southern hemisphere? Or did it spread already all over the globe? There are many things to open. But somehow, I would expect to happen something to happen seismically, which is related to the Tonga eruption. Still, that's like, you know, must be huge a shockwave or the effects what it made. But anyway, I leave it here. I just thought I'd share that. That's really interesting. Thanks. Bye.